Yo, we have time for just a one more segment. And of course, this is our very Christmassy jam of the week. Oh, do you feel that? Mm-hmm. Does it feel like George Michael and Andrew Ridgely are coming down your chimney, y'all? This is, of course, Wham! With Last Christmas. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Okay. Has anybody worked in retail? Oh, oh yeah. And had oh, to yeah. endure, oh, yeah. maybe. endure I, this? <laughs> I used to I used to work at a uh, uh, Coconuts. Oh, shit. It was one of my first jobs. Yeah. And I remember this guy came in, and he <laughs> he had school shooter vibes. <laughs> <laughs> And he goes, he goes, hey man, you got that CD where the guy goes, dun, 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 I can't stop hearing it. I go, dun, 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 dun. And I was like, yes, we do. And I gave him what he actually wanted, yeah. the Alien Ant Farm CD, <laughs> not <Yeah>. Michael Jackson. <laughs> is it, and that is indeed what he wanted. I love that no one in this room didn't think <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we all knew it was Alien Ant Farm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the best thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> oh. You seem like a kind of sore butt rock bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I've been fighting a migraine this entire episode <laughs> with the <laughs> influx of caffeine. But that might have done. You got and, slimed. Uh, you got slimed, baby. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, this is, of course, Last Christmas by Wham. It's off of their 1986 album, Music from the Edge of Heaven. This video has 800. <laughs> so, Purgatory? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dear family, I'm writing this from the Edge of Heaven. Sign Grandpa. <laughs> uh, this, this song has 828 million views, 200,333 comments, and y'all, I read every goddamn last one of them. Uh, so let us now drop down into the comment section of Last Christmas by Wham and just see what the people have to say uh, on YouTube about this song. First up, DVCA from nine hours ago. Damn, this is hot off this the presses. This is real hot off the presses. <laughs> Where's new takes on this song? <laughs> <laughs> this is a song from when my generation was young, and dare I say it, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. For some reason, I imagine just like a 350-pound farmer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gently tweaking one nipple. Yeah. <laughs> just blowing on it ever so gently. Uh, uh, love wham. <laughs> uh, DJ Tonino from seven years ago. Fuck all slanderers and bitches who are against me. <laughs> this year, I really want to enjoy Christmas. <laughs> Attention, bitch community. <laughs> this is your boy, DJ Tor Torino. Torino. El Torino, or whatever the fuck you know my name is. This is, this, is, this is DJ Totino's pizza rolls. <laughs> Uh, Fuck the I am doing meth and cleaning my trailer. <laughs> my Christmas will be excellent. <laughs> I feel like slanderers and bitches. Oh. <laughs> and or bitches. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, Lobo X from one year ago. I saw the woman I loved at Sam's Club today. She was walking in front of me. I believe she saw me too because she turned her cart around and walked towards me. All I could do was look at her while she walked by. I was with my wife, and she, her husband's baby. <laughs> so missed connection from... That's how it goes at the club. <laughs> yeah, one year ago. <laughs> so if you saw Lobo X at Sam's Club a year ago, he's uh, he's thinking about you. The next comment is, some dude followed me to my car at Sam's Club. <laughs> <laughs> he's muttering something about George Michael. Yeah. I don't <laughs> And how you you don't run from low box. And <laughs> <laughs> Nobody runs from low box. Uh, this one's real weird. Jonas Z from three years ago. Thirty six years passed and nobody made a better Christmas hymn. This is a good example of Ooh. 80s greatness. That's why far left radicals are fighting there it. There it is. I, I guarantee in a this few years, this will be banned because it's too many white people and no theme of homosexuals. Uh, <laughs> I do not know anything. <laughs> what? That's, uh, that George Michael's straight as narrow. There's a man's man right there. There's a real pussy loving son of a bitch. <laughs> It's like one of them village people. 
Hey, all those men have real manly jobs. <laughs> he says, that construction worker, Indian. How <laughs> 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 manly is job you can get out there. <laughs> <laughs> he says, these are the last years when you'll be able to hear this on YouTube. <laughs> it's like, yeah, YouTube what? hates making money off of uh, massively <laughs> popular <laughs> songs. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to a Hitler speech. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this guy, this is sounds like it might have been somebody being funny. I clicked on the profile. This is real. This oh, is a hundred percent. This is who this man is. Okay. Boba Fett fan from eleven years ago. <laughs> oh, the mountains cool. <laughs> the mountains are so pretty in this video, and I'm going through what this song is about. I had a Christmas party this past Saturday, the 17th, and my girlfriend got drunk, went off on me over stupid shit, and then proceeded to start trying to break my Star Wars collection. <sighs> she called me a bitch and every other name under the sun. All I have ever done Your is be there for you, her. Travis. Shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, look at that. I was like, oh, Boba Fett fan. He's, he's being funny. And yeah. then I clicked literally hundreds of videos of him in his Star Wars collection, right. and he is mm -hmm. not funny about it at all. So um, anyway, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I took her hard idea. <laughs> Bludgeoned her with my replica of Slave One, but <laughs> famous cargo transport. Yeah, yeah. He is, as we call, Sarlacc food now. <laughs> Ironically, I'm being chased by a bounty hunter. <laughs> Uh, this lady, uh, she's she's got a story to tell. Charity Tompkins from two years ago. Okay. Honey, this Christmas Eve, this year, you gave you me while going to the store. I want to be love you forever. Do the love dance. <laughs> Play my guitar, John. Come here, honey, right on stage, Mr. Right Stuff. Please, please, please tell me your name. Passing out typing. <laughs> <laughs> These were actually Be my love puppet, you motherfucker. <laughs> These were Thomas Kincaid's last part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the love dance with Jesus. <laughs> I will be love when you will go to the store on Saturday. I you am the puppet, a man, a woman, a codpiece. <laughs> <laughs> codpiece. That's it says, me. It says, He's please. He's himself in the mirror. <laughs> It's it screaming at his micro penis. <laughs> God, peace. <laughs> it says, please, please, please tell me your name, funny man, and marriage me. <laughs> baby, <laughs> baby, this song right on my mind. How old are you, my friend? Always love to have <laughs> sex with me. <laughs> Rivers, I told you to not read the Christmas note I wrote by Keith on this episode. <laughs> he just keeps going. Yeah. Please, please, please tell me, you secret agent of my life. <laughs> baby, come here and there tonight. Give me, baby. Know how much you love turn me on. I'll be on the floor a while. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me your name, funny man, and marriage me. So here's what I think. A guitar comic named John just uh, did a number on a crazy lady on the road. <laughs> is what this sounds like. Uh -huh. yeah. She keeps saying funny man, and there is a mention of John and a guitar. Uh -huh. Holy stage. shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, time to do some research through the old Facebook yeah. friends I added yeah, once yeah. nine yeah. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> we could track this down. <laughs> How many years ago was that? We're uh, going to really narrow this down. Two years. So oh. someone fresh out of COVID, just oh. desperate on the road. Fresh, out of, fresh out of Godine. Too. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, this is what happens when you blow, like, ground-up coding in your phone and use chat, chat GPT. <laughs> the AI's talking now. <laughs> That's fucking chat DMT. <laughs> you will make love on my fantasy, my young friend. <laughs> Open what? your third eye to the carpet of marriage time. Or <laughs> funny <laughs> goose. <laughs> I am on the floor. <laughs> I love that line. I'll be on the floor for a while. <laughs> yeah, no shit, lady. I, I love how you read that. I just just a guy in the a DJ in the radio reading that. <laughs> oh, I'm Art Bell, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah Art when Delilah Art realizes Bell, she's Art in over her head. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> I should have proofread this, but that were in it. Uh, this one is from uh, Dr. Imuhake from two years ago. I'm here to testify of the good help that Dr. Imuhake have rendered to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was married, but my wife started complaining that my penis is too small and that I don't perform well on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> 
on the floor, though. (laughs) A week later, she started going out with other men. That really affected me, and this made me conclude in giving up with the marriage. But one day, I was browsing the internet, and I saw Are you worried about the penis size of bed? (laughs) (laughs) I saw a post on how Dr. Imu Hake have helped people revive my family happiness again. (laughs) He made a herbal medicine and mailed it to me, and within a week of using the product, he said, my penis will be big. (laughs) To my great surprise, a week after using the product, my penis was very large. And my the happiness... I've been trying to transcribe this on the YouTube comments. <laughs> you know, bullshit. guys, it's not funny because Hims really just stole this thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, Dr. Imuhake is him of Hims. <laughs> Is uh, your family's happiness with your penis? <laughs> this medicine am called Oxy Shred. Yeah. <laughs> Oxy Shred mixed slime. <laughs> well, he does say, my penis was very large and the happiness that was lost in my family was revived. So oh everyone involved, not just the wife, like, hey, kids, it's fucking huge now. Look at it. this fucking hog. You want a dog? Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> the dog has a spring in his step now. <laughs> Damn, Dad, you came so hard. I love you again. <laughs> I respect you. I, <laughs> I, I want ropes while cats in the cradle place. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to point out we've uh, we've had several other doctors that posted on YouTube. Uh, so he's uh, uh, Imu Hake is the <laughs> latest in a long line. We of course had Doctor Abia, who was a love caster, uh, Doctor Udubor, who was a broken marriage fixer, and then my favorite Doctor Asulman, who was a death caster, who would just oh. kill people spiritually for you. Oh, so, Anyway, yeah, we keep racking up the doctors here on the uh, Jam of the Week. Uh, got a couple more here. They all worked on the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, did you get that last guy for this Oxy Shred yeah. and Slime? Yeah, yeah, oh. that's the Oxy Shred guy. <laughs> I feel like my soul is dying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one, and this guy, by the way, this is his... Uh, this is now his five timers club appearance. This guy pops up on a lot. I of like them. how you oh, keep what? track. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Steve Eckstein and the Alec Baldwin. Of well, this? but what's <laughs> yeah? What's weird is he he doxes himself. His name is Steve Eckstein. Douglas Drive. No. So he tells no. you I, wherever the hell the Douglas Drive is, that's where you can find him. Uh, but yeah, he's appeared previously on uh, Bob Seger's Turn the Page, Santana's Smooth, Boston's More Than a Feeling, and Doors Break on Through to the Other Side. So now for the Five Timers Club, Steve Eckstein, Douglas Drive from 17 hours ago. Uh, <laughs> once bitten by Connie in 1968, pre Christmas, foolish man I am. I misjudged her heart. Such a beautiful girl. Broke her heart, tore her Christmas holiday apart. <laughs> Some very lucky man must be living my lie now. For what? I'll tell you. <laughs> reality. That's what comes to the Rivers just slammed his fist down. That's <laughs> <laughs> me. It's Rivers me. hair just did the little Hitler drop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, the slime has turned my brain into porridge. <laughs> For what? I'll tell you. Reality. That's what comes to bite me in the rear. No more would I hide behind a little lie when Lady Diane came calling. Here I be, Diane. Take me or not. She captured me that night. Never equaled or surpassed again. A roller coaster ride. But that morning, the TV news said. Jim Morrison found dead in Paris. <laughs> I had to dry my eyes as Lady Diane descended from her bedroom. I could not let her see my unmanly tears. <laughs> Once oh bitten, God. never I'm shy. I'm crazy, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Once bitten, never shy. Not anymore. I learned it okay to cry in love. It called there being there human, it Diane. <laughs> <laughs> like one eye is closed at this point. <laughs> it sounds like Cookie Monster going through a divorce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me one love, love. Just a trickle of blood coming out of I, nose. I want this guy and the woman who's on the floor to get together and like have snakes together yeah. or whatever. And form it's... complete sentences together. <laughs> like if you mix those together, it's one. <laughs> they each have a half of a torn love letter. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one turtle breeder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Find those two people. Uh, and oh. finally, Hell Night. With, <laughs> that's Night with a K. <laughs> Rock and roll. Oh, nice. From six hours ago. God damn, these are all hot off the oh, presses, yeah. dude. A, it's it's, it's, it's the Christmas, season. yeah. yeah, yeah. You're right. It's Hell Night, so it's actually from 666. <laughs> <Yeah. hours ago. laughs> 
I really like European family when getting together as a family on Christmas <laughs> breakfast and dinner on Christmas Day. <laughs> Fuck gifts. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the giving. Your family, the heart, joy, and love on giving for family. <laughs> I always bring wine for my family, and I enjoy the family. <laughs> I make the wine in my toilet. <laughs> for family. It's like an open mic at a methadone clinic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that last one was crazy. Let's hand it off to this guy. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> gifts. All right, up next is Lobox. <laughs> yeah, Lobox is next. Chad GPT, write a Fast and the Furious. <laughs> <laughs> family is about giving the family wine family is on about the floor. breakfast dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and he ends by saying, kids nowadays are such goddamn ungrateful bastards to their family, always wanting gifts. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go shine a bunch of Thor. <laughs> <laughs> I must step back into my time machine. Goddamn kids can't even win a knife fight with me <laughs> oh, in Jesus. the driveway. Well, this national tragedy is not going to plan itself. <laughs> <laughs> so speak at the hell night. <laughs> oh boy. Oh god. And that is Wham with Last Christmas. Wow. <laughs> An inspirational what a holiday. Jolly little holiday too. Hell yeah. Jam of the week. Oh god almighty, oh, man. Oh boy.